Let's open Spine's example project and try to break it. I'm gonna break skins and then fix it so you can see how it works. Let's select this head bone and add it to skin and things break right away. First of all, we see some mesh just going to zero. If you anytime see this kind of behavior, this means that binding is not working well. If you select the mesh, I have filtered bones so only bones are visible. This is the bone that I put into the skin and if I expand all the children bones have warning icon. Let's select all of them and because they are not in that skin, that means if you deactivate this skin, these bones still will be visible and that's the problem. So let's put all these bones into the same skin. Right away we see all fixing and that fixed everything. I would like to add that even though we added head bone into the spine boy skin, every other skin also has all that bones. The reason that spine is smart. And I actually see some meshes broken here. Let's fix that as well. I can see head inverse. It still has warning. So let's put that into the skin. Nice. So back to the question. The reason we all see here in all the skins is that spine is smart. And when you add it, spine sees that these attachments were using those bones and added all those bones to the corresponding skins. You can observe that here, when you come here to the tree view and expand the skins, every skin has the same set of bones that we added. Basically, whenever you put a bone inside the skin, Spine will make sure that whoever was using that bone will have that bone in their skin. That's simple. And by checking all these beautiful characters, I would like to share that they are all uh, representing spine stuff. We have Nate, Sinisha, Soren, and all the other guys. And the cool thing that Spine Boy can be used in Discord server as a sticker. Nice, right? Let me know if this video was helpful and I should cover more issues and solve them.